call this one Solo Run. Actually, we're going to call this Maso Kism. Maso Kism? Is that how you spell Max? Masochism? Masochism. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to play on normal difficulty. So I have played this a little bit already. But I want to... What I want to try is drop all items and all pals on your team. I think that could be really cool. Up that. Dropped items in the world. I'm going to turn this up to... Can I type the number? No. That would be nice. Okay. We'll do 350... Um, for the most part, I think we're just going to keep everything the same for normal. Boop. And then let us enter the world of Power World. I'm going to turn up Power World ever so slightly. I guess we got to do it in game. <clears throat> we'll see. It might, it might just be me. Because, like, the, the menu sounds good, but the music doesn't sound very loud. Yep. I want to try, because I think that this game could be a lot of fun with the whole dropping your team aspect. I would have honestly preferred to just have my team be dropped rather than all my items. But I think that could be a lot of fun. It could also just be really annoying, so maybe I won't do that. Um, I'm going to have to try and recreate my guy that I made. Um... <laughs> uh I feel like the the body in this game looks so weird but Yeah, I think I'm sticking with this. Yep. <laughs> so I do have I do have some knowledge of this game obviously I played a little bit of it earlier the towers are the key the trees hold the truth the tree holds the truth I'm gonna try turning up the game actually to a little bit of better settings maybe uh, because we had them on low because we were hosting the game. So we're going to do some... View distance up. Let's just do... We'll turn down effects. Okay, we'll see how that goes. So, I have some plans for this run. Because we can touch this, right? And we unlock a fast travel point. And there's all this stuff up here. Uh, all this stuff around. So, something we can do is... So, I have nothing on me right now. I'm not going to grab anything. I'm going to go... Uh, bup. And bup. And bup. And bup. Oh, wait. Can't I do respawn? Yes. All right. <clears throat> I didn't actually have to do all that. I wish you could turn off the respawn timer for single player, but I think that it would be really cool since you kind of start, like, in the windswept area all the time. I kind of want to try spawning in a different area. So, obviously, you probably don't want to do the icy area because it might be too cold. There's the eastern wild island, the sea breeze archipelago reef, and the sea breeze archipelago castaway beach. So I think I want to try 
spawning and starting off in somewhere else. How's it going, Potato? We're going to start our Pal World adventure somewhere else. This is actually kind of a really easy way to get stuff is just by <laughs> dying and spawning. Egg. There's celerays, which are pretty cool. In this run, Potato, we're going to do that we drop our entire inventory and all of our pals when we die. It's normal difficulty of it, like, everything, like, with that. Other than that, it's going to be normal difficulty. But that is what I want to try doing, just to see how, how it will be, because I think it could be kind of fun. Um... Okay. We're going to definitely want a pal box, so that's just wood. We're also going to want to make some tools real quick first, so let's get some more wood, and then we'll have to go grab some stone. But this will be my single-player world that I want to do some YouTube videos potentially on. Um... This place seems to have abundance of just random eggs, which is nice. Uh, I don't really see any stones around, which is a little bit... A little bit sucky, but... Ooh, some berry bushes. I got a pal sphere and gold coins. Okay. I could start catching some of these chicken pals... But I'm going to hold up because I want to catch... My first pal I want to catch, I want it to be special. You know what I'm saying? I want it to be like a true friend. And so I'm going to try to catch a daydream as our first pal. This place is kind of a cool area to like build a house. The only thing is I do want to build a... Like, I want to build a base away from any sort of teleports so that we have, a, like, a good in-between area to teleport to. I would like to explore the ice area once we get some ice uh, protection. It's interesting that there's a lot of, like, pallium fragments, but not a lot of stone around this area. Um, I'm gonna just up a lot of my stamina. I feel like stamina is really good. Uh, bed, arrows. I might not go for... I need the straw pal bear. We're gonna need cloth. I don't know if I'm gonna go for the old bow. I think I might skip it. For now. Uh, let's, do we, we don't have enough for a campfire, do we? No. Okay. I don't even know if hitting the tree with the pickaxe does anything or just wastes durability on the pickaxe. Oh, is that stone? Nice. Sweet. I'm going to try and, like, get through as much as I can early game. Like, kind of early game, like, setting up and getting our first pal. But I, I want to take this game a little bit slow. I don't want to, like, rush through everything. Um, okay, we're going to make an axe. And then I'm going to make a torch next. Uh, We need just a little bit of wood. Okay. I haven't been watching too many people play this, but I have seen a couple people 
playing this game. Okay. It wants me, it does want me to build a pal box as well. But I'm going to make a torch first and then I can make a campfire. Then I'll make a pal box. This won't, this will be my temporary area to live in. It might not be my full area. Torch. We gotta wait for nighttime though. That's when my starter pal is gonna be a appearing. Daydream. I uh, don't know if it will spawn here, but hopefully it will. Okay, where's the? We can make a pal box. I'm gonna go talk to that guy on the beach too, because sometimes NPCs give you stuff. Definitely want to get one of these cell arrays around here just to get a glider. I don't know if the like the the backpack thing, not the backpack, the uh, parachute you can get is any better or any good than just getting a, a pal to do it. But Okay. And then we also want to find I want to find um some of the wool, the sheep guys to get some wool. Hey. You're new around here, aren't you? A fellow wanderer, huh? Why did you end up in a dump like this? I bet you also just trying to catch some pals and get rich quick, right? Too bad, turns out pals are ferocious, dangerous things. All my friends have already kicked the bucket. If you come across a giant pal, steer clear of it. Make sure you're well prepared before you try to take it on. Catch a bunch of pals and raise your levels first. Fair. You're only level three. I'll probably kill that guy later. Um, I, We do also need to get pal fluids. For different stuff. Gumross. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a dungeon here. There's some penguins here. Uh, a level 13 isolated island cavern. That's pretty cool. If you can, if we can build a house sort of around here, then we can. Uh... We can challenge that area a lot. There's a ruby. I'm gonna try and kill something. Ah, he shoots so fast. Gives me no time to react. There we go. You gotta just gotta wait for his wind up. Nice. Okay. Um I'm gonna assume on the map, yeah, it's saying that's my base. Okay. Getting hungry. Ooh, I should go. Um, do I only have one? Oh, I, did I eat? Did I eat? Use on whom? Okay. It looks like it might be getting night soon. 
Uh, I don't have a copper key. A lot of pal spheres just hanging around, so obviously someone might have died here. I might catch... I know I said I wanted to save my first catch for Daydream, and I... I you know what? You know what? I will save it. I'll make I'll make the first catch special, just to slow things down for myself a bit. I mean, this seems to be a great place to start, because of all the free pal spheres. Oh, free egg. Yeah, you guys got nothing on me. See you later, mate. Got some wool. These guys are just chilling in the water. Um, A lot of skittish guys around here, which I guess is good for me. <laughs> this guy just left his friend. He's like, act like I act like you don't see what's going on. Nice. We got some leather from that guy. These guys are having a full-on battle. Whoa. I've heard people talk about like the pals fighting each other, but I haven't seen one. Is this pal gonna get in these are these guys tag teaming? Oh, he's using, he's using the trees as, to his advantage. I'm going to join in on fight. <laughs> oh, this guy's level 5. That's yeah, fine, though. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. I'm using him as a meat shield. <laughs> oh, it looks like the penguins won the penguin platypus war. Do you think this is how Australians felt when the emus attacked? Um, ooh, common shield, yes. Let's make a spear. <laughs> yep, that's what I that's uh that's how it do. That's how we do, Yugi. We got so many pal spheres, man. Oh, unused stat points. Yes. Stamina, please. Stamina, and I'll increase some carry weight. That seems to be the two important stats. At least that's what I seem to have used the most in my adventuring so far. Okay. We can head back and we can make uh, an over shield. Dude, there are a ton of pal spheres. I th people just dump pal spheres in the in the river and they flow down here. Okay, so you can see the pals that you've seen. Are these all? I think these might be all the. Whoa! I never saw this. A flabelle? What? These might be all of the pals I've seen over all of my games, because I don't think I've seen a Nightwing yet, or a Dire Howl in this run. I've seen it in other runs, but I want a Flabelle. That thing looks super cute. I was going to see and check, uh, like, the turtles, because Potato said that there was a turtle, so I wanted to see it. But I guess I, I must have not seen it, or I must have misunderstood. I kind of want to build a base on, like, top of a mountain or something. Ooh, maybe we can actually go over to this area. Um, okay. I also want to make clothes. Have you seen the one of the fire guys? Uh, I've seen one of the fire guys sleeping underwater. That's funny. Can make a uh, close. That'll be good. Because then we don't have to rely purely on the torch for keeping me alive. Okay. We're looking out for daydreams. I don't even know if they spawn over here. If I don't see anyone around here, I think I'll just spawn 
I'll go back to, uh, I'll teleport to the regular area, the, the spawn area, and see if it's uh, around there, because we've definitely seen them there. Let's go look for stone. I think we need 20 stone. And me saying that out loud means we're not going to get 20 stone. Yep, we need three more stone. Handheld torches brighten up areas and fend off the cold. Yeah, yeah. Those are the rubies. Okay, we're gonna have to go... I guess we're gonna have to go across this. Maybe we'll build a bridge. I don't know how the building mechanics work. I assume you can build outside of your base, but maybe you can't, like, because they also have that, like, circle. So I assume maybe you can't. Some sleeping penguins. Um, nothing immediately jumps out to me. Oh, there's Depressos spawning now. These guys suck. Not like design-wise or anything, just... You know what, I'm not gonna fight these guys, they're annoying. Oh, please. I'm just gonna dip out. Ah, I'm being bonked. How's it going, Schmeeps? Um, okay. Depressos are out there. That means that, I mean, theoretically, Daydream should be spawning. We're playing on a single-player world today, Schmeeps. We're going to try uh, we're gonna try out playing Power World, but if I die, I drop all of my items and my team. Just to see if it's fun. <laughs> um, is that... Oh, that's a Nightwing. Oh, I guess that's where we saw the Nightwing. Nightwings are going to kick my ass if I try to start a fight with them. Okay, I'm going to keep looking around a little bit longer, but if I don't see a daydream, I'm going to move to the spawn area. Because that's the one thing I want right now. Yeah, I think we got to go to the spawn area. Or we have to go, like, further inland. Oh, those guys are dangerous. They will attack me. Right, let's go head home real quick. And then we will swim, or we will go to the spawn location. Nightwing is a very good fighter. It also sells for quite a bit, or at least the one I had sells for a lot. I kind of want to do a bunch of challenge runs of this game, but I don't know if I will. Because I also want to play a lot of other games this year. Okay. Three, four. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Boop. Nice. This one might not be the one that we keep forever, but this is, uh... 
increases decreases to incoming neutral damage. Interesting. I want to catch a bunch of them so that we it's already turning daytime. I want to catch a bunch of them so we can uh So we could check out different stats on them and get one with a really good ability or something. Oh, there's a green thing. We should grab those so we can increase our catch rate. I'm thinking of naming my Daydream Nebula like we did the other one, but I'm also thinking of Cosmos. But if you guys can think of any names that you would like me to name Daydream, let me know. There we go. Now we... <laughs> Wait! Can we get them to fight each other? Oh, that's so interesting. So I made it accidentally hit that one guy... And now that <laughs> that dude's like on my team. There's another daydream attacking me too, so it's a little bit uh we're a little bit in danger. And that one's got poison. Oh wait, uh boop. Okay, we got that one. Uh, okay. Chill 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 chill. Okay, we caught our second one. I'm waiting for that. Yeah, I'm like, I'm waiting for that poison. <laughs> Oop. I really do want this dragon as well, this grass dr dragon. I rolled a little bit early on that. <laughs> we'll just catch that one, why not? This guy is playing dirty. He's trying to stick around this this dragon. He's going to hit it. Come on, dude. Yeah, that's it. There it goes. Oh, come on. Come on. Let me try and hit it with the torch so it lights on fire. Brother, you're fighting a pal world master right now. We want to be the best. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Okay. Probably won't catch, but we can try. Oh. Nice. Sheesh. All right. Technology. <clears throat> Fire arrows might be something I want to look into. Definitely want a ranch. Definitely want a berry plantation. <clears throat> okay. Okay. These guys are good at transporting and gardening and handiwork, so they could potentially be helpful. This guy's a workaholic. Sanity drops 15% slower. That's something we want working in the in our team. <clears throat> this guy's a pyromaniac, increases fire damage, and is waterproof. Interesting. While in the team, Cativia helps carrying supplies, increasing the player's max capacity. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I keep not hitting the right buttons. And this one is conceded. Its work speed is increased by 10%. Oh, wow. So we have... Uh, <laughs> we have work... Worker 2. Am I dying? Or am I just injured? I think I'm just injured. Okay, wait. I need to know. Is there a way to go previous tab? No? 
How do we how do we just exit this? Or do I have to go like this, this? Uh, worker two and this guy is worker one. <laughs> I also did not write that well. Worker two. <clears throat> Joke's on you. I recently got a new PC with the money I saved. Now I'm unstoppable. Yeah. My God. Our frame rate is frame rate is over thirty. Brother, come on, get what game? There we go. <laughs> See you later, mate. Oh, that guy's a glutton. Sucks. All right. Um, did not mean to do that. I just wanted to look, man. Hey, that's a smart idea when you're on fire. I have no idea why my aiming sensitivity is so fucking bad. I I don't know what happened. <clears throat> like, I cannot turn the screen while I'm aiming. Pop. Sweet. Alright. I guess we could just start using... I guess we sh don't need to... Yeah, I'm like, we don't need to, because we're gonna just kill it, but... Alright. Now that we got some people to help work on... On stuff, let's go get these guys set up. Let's go make a ranch and set some workers to the base. Hmm. Another daydream. <laughs> they trade shadow balls. Gonna beat you up a bit. Might let Daydream. Oh. Come on. Yeah, I knew that was going to break out. Nice. So we caught four of these. Uh, let's try to catch this one, too. Are you... Are you going to attack him? <laughs> Go. You might kill him, but... Yep. Oh, hey, this guy wants to fight. Bop. Oh, you... You idiot. You killed yourself. All right. There's this guy. Alright. I could pick up a Who Crate, but I think for right now I'm fine. The chest thing over here? No, there's a... Oh, there's a chest thing over here. And we got a copper key. This guy's just contemplating his life, and I'm about to go, yeah! Your goose has been cooked. He's brittle minus three, Jesus. I know who's getting butchered later. 